Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be creating a modified rainbow, which is just a really fun change up using the stitched rainbow die. I'm going to start by ink blending my background first. I have a piece of white 80 pound cardstock that I cut from the mini slimline die set. This is the largest out of that small mini slimline set. I'm starting my background with a salty ocean at the very top, blending about a third of the way down. Then I'm coming in with a tumble glass. These are all Distress Oxide inks, and I'm using a domed blending tool to do the ink blending. And now I'm coming in at the very bottom with Antique Linen. The Antique Linen is just going to give kind of a soft, warm glow towards the bottom of my card. And once I have that blended, I'm bringing in my blending tool that I use for my purple. This is the Villainous Purple, so it's super dark. I didn't even ink it up. I'm just using whatever leftover ink I have on my tool and just adding a little bit to intensify that a little bit. Next, I'm bringing out my Make Art Station and my Starry Sky stencil. I'm going to hold that stencil down over the top of my background with my magnets. And then I have the Fairy Dust stencil paste. I'm using a silicone tool that I'm just using to spread this fairy dust stencil paste over the background. I start with kind of a heavy layer and then I spread it out into a thin layer and I'll wipe off any excess back into the jar if it's not contaminated. Now, the thinner the layer, the shorter dry time you will have. Then I'll just pick that stencil up with my tweezers. I like to wipe off any edges of some of that remaining fairy dust that's hanging off the sides. And then I'll take my stencil and rinse it off with warm water and soap in my sink. Here I have the stitched rainbow. I die cut the base from white cardstock and I'm going to put tape runner all over the top of this. I have the rainbow pieces. This is where I have a modified rainbow. I am using the warm colors of the rainbow. So I'm using raspberry cardstock, ballet slippers, fake tan, sunflower and sticky note. I think this also would look neat die cut out of the cool tones which would be the blue, green and purples. So just changing up the order of your rainbow I think adds a little bit more interest to your card and kind of surprises the recipient a little bit because they're expecting the rainbow of colors. Also on the stitched rainbow die are some clouds. So I die cut a few of these out of white cardstock and I'm adding to the top of my card hanging off of the edges with a foam tape. I'm going to add my rainbow down towards the bottom using my liquid glue and notice I have it hanging off of the card. I love the look of having things hanging off the edge. Then I can layer on those clouds at the bottom. So the first one I added right to the top of my rainbow with liquid glue and the other one I'm going to add a foam squares to to pop that up just a little bit. After I have everything attached, I'm going to flip it over and just take my scissors and trim off anything that is hanging off of the sides so that it's not in my way when I go to attach this to a card panel. Now, something I don't show very often in my videos is my little stash that I have here. This is a big clear container that I have with a ton of lawn fawn stuff, whether it was die cutting something that didn't work out, it didn't fit my plan, or just a bunch of images I colored. I like to just stamp a bunch of things out, color them all out, experiment with different Copic color combinations. And so this card, I thought, I just wanna add one little image. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I brought out my bag of goodies and just, you can see I have heaps of images here. So I settled on one, I'll show you in just a minute, and I'm gonna set that off on the side to work on my sentiment. The stamp set that I just showed you is thanks, thanks, thanks. So I picked one of the bigger thanks from that set, placed it onto some white 80 pound cardstock, and I'm using my Misty to stamp this because I love stamping things twice in the black licorice ink. I just really love that bold black. Since I do have my stamping tool out, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my smaller sentiment that's gonna go on the front of the card. For this, I'm using just a strip of black licorice cardstock. I lined up that smaller sentiment and now I'm going to prep that cardstock with an anti-static powder tool since I will be doing my heat embossing. I'm inking this image up with the Yeti ink, so it's the white pigment ink, which is my favorite way to white heat emboss. I'm just gently tapping that down and I will ink it up again. And then I'm going to sprinkle on white embossing powder. I'll tap off any excess back into my container 
And after my heat tool is nice and hot, I can bring that in and melt that embossing powder. I'll use the coordinating die to my word thanks to die cut that out. And then I'm going to trim down this smaller sentiment just using my mini paper trimmer. Now off screen, I did go ahead and die cut the word thanks multiple times. And the reason for that is because of my cloud here at the top. So you can see some of it is on the cloud, some of it is hanging off. And I want that to be, uh, I wanted it all to match. I wanted it all to be one level, so to speak. So I figured out what part of the word thanks is hanging off of the cloud and I trimmed the rest of mine to that. So it ended right about the A. So I'm gonna layer all of these together with my liquid glue. So I'm only layering up the T, the H, and the A. The rest of that is gonna be on top of the cloud. And after some kind of trial and error and testing it out, I have about four or five layers here. And mainly that's because I used 80 pound cardstock. If I would have used um, a heavier cardstock, I probably wouldn't have needed as many layers. So after getting these all glued down and trimmed off after that letter A, I can add liquid glue behind the entire thing and add that on the front of the card so it's overhanging my cloud. And now everything is one level. My word thanks matches up with my cloud. I'll push that down to make sure that it's nice and secure. Hold that for a few seconds. And I'm adding black foam squares behind my smaller sentiment that I trimmed down. I'll remove the backing of those foam squares and add that right under the word thanks. The images that I picked out of my stash there, you can see down in the bottom corner, I have a little mouse that's from You Autumn No Stamp Set, and then I also have the dandelion here from Dandy Day, and I thought this was just a really cute mix. My little mouse kind of flying up into the sky by the rainbow. So I'm going to attach the mouse to that little dandelion, and then I'm gonna add foam squares behind it to pop it up just a little bit. He's gonna go right on top of my rainbow. So I added those foam squares, and then after I remove those backings, I'll attach that to the rainbow there. And I think that little mouse looks just adorable flying up into the sky by the rainbow. The last thing I'm going to do is add this to a front panel. So I die cut my mini slim line. This is out of the large mini slim line. So these layer together so nicely. It gives me a really nice white border. You could just cut this with your paper trimmer, but I really like the stitching that it provides. So this card is going to me measure three by six. So there's a look at my modified rainbow. I hope you'll give this a try and just experiment with colors, change things up, just have some fun with it. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you again soon.